superhero marigold plants and these were brand new in March as well. You're going to get two each of the superhero spry the orange and the yellow. So we'll, we'll go through exactly what you get. I think the superhero spry is the red, or maybe not. I don't know what color the spry is. Oh, I think that's the, the two-tone one. But anyway, um, let's go, and we'll go back to Roberta's, and Derek is going to take us shopping this time. Derek is another one of the brothers, and it's just uh, right. great to have you with us, Derek. Nice to see you again. You too. Yeah, and you know, this is perfect. If you just picked up the tomatoes or yeah. you were thinking about it, highly recommend you get the marigold. The reason why is the, this is a match made in heaven. The tomato and the marigold together. The tomato is going to feed your family. But, you know, if you want to grow organic or beyond organic, yeah. when you take these marigolds and you plant them side by side with your tomato in the same container, okay. what you'll find is going to happen is that the marigold with its natural scent will repel all on its own, you know, all these um, hornworms that we don't like, all the beetles, all the ants, everything. They're gonna stay away because marigold has a certain scent to it, a certain chemical that insects don't like it. And so it's sort of a natural um, bug spray, you could say. Yeah. Also looks beautiful. In their own right, even if you're not growing tomatoes, these are an amazing plant to have in the house mm -hmm. because they bloom for months and months on end with beautiful, and you saw, you know, we have three different colors and you're getting yeah. two of each. Um, explain the colors to us because I didn't know what was the superhero spry. Yeah, well, let's go through the images because that'll give us a really clear picture. So actually... That right there is the spry. It's the two-tone okay. red and orange together. Got it. Uh -huh. um, Beautiful. And that photo in the background is some orange and yellow. Mm -hmm. But the spry is really cool. Now, here's the orange. Here's the yellow. Slightly bit bigger flowers than the spry. Okay. These come at about two and a half to three inches wide. They're huge marigold flowers. Now, remember, marigolds, they are going to be blooming basically right out of the box, um, and they're not going to stop until the first or second frost. Wow. So this is something, if you just want lots of color, uh -huh. if you just want to fill a basket or intermix, or you can grow them with other veggies than just the tomatoes, such as the peppers here, Yeah. this is the thing for you. Now, there's the spry, which I really love. It really mm -hmm. pops. That yellow and orange on the top really pops off the red there, Yeah. which I think is really attractive. And, you know, you don't see a lot of marigolds that are multicolored like that. Yeah. They're usually just, you know, one color. Right. Um, now, here's the other thing. How tall and how wide do each of these plants get? Because we're getting six of them. Yeah, well, you can see here that in that last image, they get about a foot to a foot and a half at total okay. max height. Yeah. A lot of people's okay. plants are going to be about a foot tall. Okay. Um if you're growing them really well, they'll get taller than that. They love sunlight, full sun. Okay. And they like a moderate amount of water. But these are something that's really easy to care for. And that's what I really love about them in the garden is that uh, it's probably one of the easiest plants to have. They're stalwart. They're steady. They do not require a lot of babying. They can handle a really hot day that you forgot to water them. Oh, um, wow. They attract the pollinators. This is another yeah. reason why you want to grow these with your veggies of all kinds. Okay. Because your vegetables do not pollinate themselves. Pollinators have to do so. And you're going to draw those pollinators in real quick if you have the marigolds inter planted. Yeah. And now, not only do the marigolds resist pests, but they resist deer too, right? Yes. And that's Good. a big deal, especially for people in like this area. <laughs> exactly. Around yeah. QVC Studios. Uh -huh. uh, tons of deer. deer. I mean, there's right. signs everywhere. Beware of deer when you're driving. Everywhere. Like, you know, there's and, and most people's gardens, you know, all over the country, we, we struggle with that. Yeah. So again, this is a flower that you can plant and you can be Pretty confident that the deer are not going to eat this. Mm -hmm. And then, remember, it repels the bugs we don't want, but it draws in the bugs we do, which is kind of yeah. pretty amazing. That's awesome. That, that, that they do that all yeah. on their own. And you're getting six healthy plants. Mm -hmm. I'll walk up and show you, actually. Okay. These, um, because what I want to show you is that there's already oh, yeah. buds. There's buds all, all over buds. that thing. And, um, you know, this actually is called an Ellie pot. 
which yeah. is sort of a papery reuse, um, not reusable, but biodegradable mm -hmm. uh, pot because we wanted to cut down on the amount of plastic yeah. that, you know, not everything is coming in a piece of plastic like this that you have to pitch and it goes in the, the garbage. Now right. there's these biodegradable pots, really good. Um, we like them too because they just, you don't have to take anything off. You just put it right, right into your container and they'll just break down. The yeah. roots can pass right through. It's super simple. As far as these are, marigolds are annuals, right? Not perennials. That's right. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make that um, known because I just think it's good for everybody to know. Um, also, while we're talking, Derek, I wanted to ask one of you to go through what is your warranty. Like if people are oh, buying yeah. from Roberta's for the first time or buying plants from QVC for the first time, they might wonder, well, what if they don't look good? What if they don't come up? What do I do? Totally. Well, here it is, you know, because we love what we're doing. We want you to love it, too. So when you're happy, we're happy. We assure your satisfaction with our perennials for one year and the annuals and tropical plants from 90 days from the time of shipment like these marigolds. And for any reason, your results don't match expectations. Um, give us a call. We're going to replace your plants if you need replacements. Uh, you know, we've got people on the line ready to talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, just all in all, we want to be with you every step of the way. Make sure you have an amazing experience growing with Roberta's and QVC for years to come. Yeah. So. And it show everybody the growing guide that comes with this. And by the way, yeah. the tomato plants are going quickly. The marigolds are going quickly. A lot of you are shopping tonight. Thank you so much for coming to QVC and spending yeah, your definitely. time with Roberta's and us. Because here's the thing. I look at the date. I mean, I've been here a long, long time. Today is March 28th. I can tell you right now, by the middle of April, we're pretty much done with our garden shows. So it's like we are really getting, we started in like the third week of January. So we've been doing this now for a long time. If you haven't yet bought your plants that will ship out when they're supposed to be planted in your part of the country, they go by your, um, your zip code. This is the time to be able to order them. Not to mention that once they're gone, they're gone for this season. So. 4,000 just this month, you, we've uh, sold that many of the marigolds. And these are the superhero. Like you said, they're bigger, they're better, they are great with all of your veggies, your, your fruits and anything like that, or with any of your um, other plants too. But these are gorgeous, 20,000. Um, no, that's the next one, sorry. <laughs> Here's the hibiscus that's coming up a little bit later. Isn't that a beautiful?